the guy that kind of kick-started the Albuquerque the grassroots move in the main, putting it on the map a little bit? Well, you know, it just feels full circle. It feels full circle. I was the first guy from Albuquerque to fight in the UFC, and um, it's been uh, 10 years, so that's that's a decade, man. And it's just... It just feels full circle. Um, I get my big fight, I have a tough opponent, and it's here at home fighting at Tingley. The last time I fought at Albuquerque, it was at Tingley, so it just really does feel full circle. And as a, as a fighter, as a man, um, I've came full circle. I'm all grown up. I've made all the mistakes I could have possibly made. I'm, I'm very mature. My, um, my feet are grounded, and I'm fighting for all the right reasons. And I took this camp uh, very seriously. And I was very motivated. I felt like this fight motivated me very similar as if I was fighting for a title fight, if not more, because of the passion that I have for my city, my hometown. But more than that, the passion that I have for my family that's going to be attending the fight. I have over 160 family members that are going to be there. So it's just um, realistically, even if UFC does come back to Albuquerque, it's... Um, it's a slight possibility that I'll be on the card with the UFC scheduling the way it turns out. So I'm just very grateful for this blessing and I'm just going to embrace the moment and um, take it all in. And, you know, I know that I've done all my hard work. Um, I, I, I went back to back camps. I was eight days after my last fight. I was back in training, uh, preparing and I'm ready. I'm rested and I'm, I'm injury free and I'm healthy and I'm ready to go. Have you added some muscle? Or strength um, yeah, actually, um, I um, hired a new strength and conditioning coach this this camp. I made some some changes on my team, and um, that that needed to be made. And and um, after four years and and a shoulder surgery, um, I'm finally able to do some lifting. And um, you know, I, f I really feel healthy. And, you feel um, better than ever. Physically? Um, I, I feel better than ever. I really do. Um, it's just, but for me, man, this is a dream come true because I've been. I told I told Joe Silva when they when I found out UFC was coming to Albuquerque, I told him I said put me on this card. I will fight at 185. I will fight at 145. I don't care. I'll fight at 70. I will fight any guy on the roster. It doesn't matter. You bring him to Albuquerque and I'll beat him. Um, I've been I've been dreaming of fighting here with with the energy of my fans and I've also been dreaming of fighting a high altitude fight. You know. This, uh, the Lobos do it all the time. They they, they get their get their they get their opponents tired and and um, they drag them into that into the third third round and, and and it's hard to beat us here at home and and that's exactly something that I've been dreaming about my whole career with UFC. I've been, I've been dreaming of bringing them here and now it's finally happening. It's a this event for Jackson. So many of you guys are on the card. You know, so you're from out here to just come up with a celebration of the of the gym in a way too. All the guys in the card. Um, all the Jackson guys on the car, it's just been, um, been an honor to, to train um, and prepare with my brothers. Um, we're, we're all prepared, we're all ready, we're, we're all our own men and we all step into the cage on our own. And we do our own, you know, we, we have our own ways of training, but um, we help each other out and it's just always good to have people have support and have people on the card. Um, it's going to be, uh, I, I have to... You know, I admit, I'll be warming up for my fight and John Dawson's going to be fighting. So it's like I won't be able to really pay attention or, the, or, or give the focus I want to to that fight. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that um, that we started off with some good knockouts and, and some good finishes. And uh, I'm predicting a very dominant night for the gym. Undefeated? Um, very dominant, very dominant, and I'm, I'm hoping undefeated. Um, the motivation, it's just, um, for me, it's just passion, and I, I thrive on it. I thrive on it, and people have been asking me a lot, are you putting extra pressure on yourself because you are fighting at home? And I'm, I'm quick to say, you know, pressure's never been a problem for me. You know, I've always, every time I've been put in a corner in my career, I always fight my way out of that corner. And, and I think that's just a, a trait of my characteristics. And um, this is definitely me in the corner. I'm coming off two losses in a row. I have to win this fight. And I feel like it's a blessing from God because I'm fighting at home. And this is my dream fight. So um, 
you know, the fight alone, the family, everything. I'm, I, I, I have more than enough motivation for this training camp. And um, it's just very motivating for me to know that finally I'm going into a fight since, since, since 2000, early 2009, I have not been this healthy. No injuries and in, in the best shape of my life. Talk about the legacy of the torch that you're carrying. It's not just you, obviously, that's fighting here at the Tingley Coliseum. Guys like Johnny Tapia, Floyd Mayweather, even Bob Foster, two local guys that trained out of here. What's that like to know that you're carrying that torch still? It's, um, it's just, it's just, this is my city, you know. Um, I'm, I'm as burke as it gets, you know, born and raised, hard worker, you know. I wasn't spoon fed, you know. Me and my, my mom and my dad both, you know, blue collar workers worked their butts off, you know, to give me a good life. And, and now I'm, I'm here and, and, and I'm doing the same for my family. And um, I've been blessed with a lot of opportunity. And um, I'm aware of, of my blessings. I, I, I count my blessings every day. And I'm um, going in there and, and I'm, just, I'm just happy to be carrying the New Mexico and the Albuquerque flag for this fight and as the original Ultimate Fighter and the original UFC fighter from Albuquerque. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put an explanation point on the fact that, yes, I am, I, I am, I am in level Mexico. Why was it important for you to change the nickname from the dream back to the nightmare? Um, you know, I started as the nightmare here in Albuquerque, and the nightmare is what the nightmare means is is just a guy who will not you can't hurt him and you can't get him out of your face and he doesn't tire, he doesn't stop, and he just keeps putting pressure and and, and that that's what that started here in New Mexico in my youth. And uh, now as I'm a little older, I'm prepared to, to bring the nightmare back to Albuquerque. Good luck. Bye -bye.